Hello, my name is Richard Garay from richardgaray.com and I would like to welcome you to my creative space. On this side, I have most of my embellishments, some of the jars that are, or the mason jars here that are filled with the sparkles and the drops and the twine and some of my mementos that I have stored. I like to host these boxes um, for I like to put different elements in there, whether it's markers, flowers, accessories, sponges, daubers, blades, flowers, um, whatever it is that I will need access to immediately, I store in some of these boxes so that I have easy access to. I do like to turn the, the box slid inside out for it allows me to easily grab it in and out of my shelves. So it just makes it really fun for me when I'm creating. So I've shared with you my little embellishment hut, but now I wanna share with you where I actually create projects. This here is my actual workstation. I designed it to be counter height because I like to create standing up for the most part. I have access to some of my immediate tools such as adhesives, tools, and elements like that. Um, but I also have this really cool little cart that a friend of mine, Tammy, shared with me a little while ago and I totally cased her idea because I have my clear blocks here and then I have my adhesives, my silk lusters, scissors, and all kinds of elements that I typically use more often. So I can then just tuck this right under here um, and you don't necessarily see it, but it's accessible to me. So now let me show you my cardstock lounge, as some of my friends would say. Um, I like to host my cardstock so that I can see it um, and I have access to all of our delicious colors from Fun Stamper's Journey and Celebrations. So I host them all here um, so that I have access to them easily. Uh, anything that's left over, in other words, if I have any of the printed stock, I'll host right under here. Um, and then my scraps, that's the biggest piece for those of us who create projects. I have two different scrap drawers. One is for my Celebrations products, so any of my Celebration colors colors and printed stock is all on one side and any of my Fun Stamper's Journey cardstock is all on the other. So I'll typically come back and look for scraps first and then if I don't have what I need I'll come back and get a full sheet out of my cardstock um, assortment here. So if we continue to walk a little further down you'll notice I'll have more boxes full of different accessories or elements such as envelopes and flowers and sprays and um, different things that I like to host again nearby so that I have access to it. Um, the other thing I like to host is maybe some of my favorite stamps and or just fun little decorations and elements. But one of my favorite pieces here is my ribbon holder. With my ribbon holder and the way I designed it is I have the access to just grab any spool I want, um, pull it, trim it, and then place it back in its place. Obviously this is not all my ribbon. Uh, if, if you design projects out there, you are probably just like me and have tons of ribbon, but this is a ribbon I do tend to use a little bit more. So I do like to host it, not just that, but it actually looks very pretty in my craft room. <laughs> so we'll move on to the next section. So in this little section here, I like to host any of my sewing projects. I do like to sew on, on several projects on occasions, um, but it typically happens more around the holidays. So, but nonetheless, I have my little space here with um, my different threads and uh, of course projects that I've created in the past. It allows me to come sit, create, and then move on to the next project because it's all in one space. So if you notice on this, large side wall of my craft room. I typically have a lot of mementos, a lot of projects that either I've created or have been gifted to me, uh, as well as a few elements of product, uh, because after all, this is my craft room, uh, and some of the albums I've designed in the past as well. I'll host my ink pads here, Fun Stamper's Journey ink pads, as well as my Celebrations ink pads. Uh, all of my elements for my die cutting machine will all be in under here. So all of my cutting plates, all of my embossing plates will all be stored here. Obviously my die cut machine. And then further on you'll see more of that. You know, we'll have extra dies, some new dies that haven't been released will typically be stored in here. Uh, and this is just a fun project I created for the Fun Stampers Journey website. It's actually a small selection of our colors. 
Uh, and what I basically did was create blooms out of it so that we can host them for the color wall. So this is just kind of a fun little element and I decided to keep it. It looks colorful in my stamp room and I love the way it looks here. So again, more mementos, more elements. I do have these file folders that um, I created that match all my other folders the same. And with these file folders, what I like to do is I like to set my projects ahead of time. So if I know there's certain projects that are coming along, classes that I need to be teaching, I'll pre-select the product that's going in there and I'll put, put it all in these file folders so that when I have the opportunity to create them, I simply have everything that I need right there. So I don't have to always wonder what I'm going to be using. So it sort of projects one through eight. And yes, they're typically always full because there's a lot of projects I need to be working on. And then here, I'll store my dies. All of my dies are stored in this section, or most of my dies are stored in this section. And I either sort them by letters and basic shapes and decorative elements, so they're all gonna be found here. And of course, way on top is my Fun Stampers Journey stamps in their storage containers. It'll, I alphabetize them, so they're all in alphabetical order. Um, and it just allows me to create, to have fun in this space. Um, it's an amazing opportunity for me to create projects that will hopefully inspire you to want to create yourself. Thanks again for joining me on this little tour of my creative space, and I hope that you have an amazing journey ahead. Thank you.